my name is D.R. Harris and welcome back again to Graphic Description. This time I decided to try to do something a little bit different. There's a saying that says artists are their worst critic. Well, let's see if that's so. For a while now I've been thinking about critiquing other works of art. But I would have to be a bit of a hypocrite if I didn't critique my own art, right? So that's the idea for this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and now let's begin. First up, Wonder Woman. When I initially did this sketch of Wonder Woman, I really liked it. Uh, it looks like the, if I were ever to work at DC Comics, I imagine that this is the type of Wonder Woman that I would draw. It's the closest to their house style. She's not skinny, but she's not too thick either. I, at first I did like the pose that she was in, but looking back on it now, I have a few issues. One of the issues is her right hand. It seems to be aimed at her face and seems to be too big and then the fingers just come off as too weird as if they're worms or something. Let's take a look at the next stage of the development of this picture. I still see the same flaws but they aren't as pronounced this time. Also I changed how I was going to shade this image. Instead of having her outer right thigh shaded a bit, I decided to have her inner thigh. However, the main issue I have with this image in every iteration is her face. It's a good enough face, however, it looks like the face of a supermodel when the photographer tells her to act or do something. Emotion should be coming out of it, but it just looks very blank and unemotional. Sort of like a sex doll or something. With color added to this image, you could tell really now that this was free-handed and wasn't touched up because the colors, while they seem nice, they are a bit off and the design of the image is still a bit sketchy. All right, let's take a look at what I did next with this image. Over the last few months, I've been working in and experimenting in a minimalist style, and this picture right here is an example of it. I actually feel that this image right here is the best version of Wonder Woman that I've ever done, which is kind of ironic since you can't see her face and it's in black silhouette. But I think actually that's what really helps this image out a lot. There are certain characters that if you only see their silhouette, you automatically know who they are. Such as Batman, Goku from Dragon Ball, and Mickey Mouse. I really enjoy this image because all of the elements of Wonder Woman is there. You don't have to see, his, see her face in order to know it's her. And there's a slight cartoony style that I feel really fits this image. And in that case, I really don't mind the way the stars look here. And the shading actually comes off good. The only problem I really have with this image, however, is once again, the hand. The hand is really pronounced and really odd looking. Here are a few other Wonder Woman designs that I've done over the last two years that I like. This one right here is a sketch that I call the Kidlin version of Wonder Woman. And this, she's not quite a teenager, but she's not quite an adolescent either. I really like the design of this one. It looks fun. It looks uh, slightly serious, but I think it's something that anyone that loves comics or Wonder Woman could really get into. Plus, in the image, you know she's serious about something, but you don't know, is she powering up? Is it before a fight? Is it during a fight? I drew this particular image of um, Diana 
during a time when I was still trying to figure out what version of Wonder Woman that I like the best. I, I, I think this is actually my third be, best version of her. What I don't like about her in this image is if you take a look at her head, her head should be, a, her skull should be a whole lot bigger. I wind up correcting this in a later image, which I'm going to show you, but let's just continue to take a look at this one. Some other issues I have with this is the eight insignia. It looks like I used freehand a little too much. Also, her hair. My art style, the hair tends to be a bit crazy and unwieldy. And I think I went a bit too far with this one. The hair on her neck looks like it's trying to attack her. It looks like some octo octopus tentacles or something. Also, her hands, one seems too big and the other one seems too small. The left hand seems way, way too small. And her right hand seems like an oven mitt. Here's a you know, minimalist take on the image. I don't think this one works as much because it just seems like while when you do minimalist paintings and drawings, you deconstruct an image. I think I deconstructed this a bit too much that it looks like something that anyone could do. And here's the final image of Wonder Woman that I've done. If you take a look, it looks almost like the previous image, except I changed her hair. And you might not have noticed, I also changed the way her skull was shaped. So her head looks actually a bit better here than it does in the previous image. If there is one thing I can ding this last image on, I believe I made the left forearm a bit too small. It should be longer. And that's all I have for today. If you like this, please comment in the comment section below. Please check out my other videos at the graphic description and DR Harris YouTube channels. Also check me out on DeviantArt at Mr. Grump and Tumblr at Mr. Grump One. And finally check out my work at www.drharris.net and until next time, goodbye.